Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the platform party. Formal education 
and when they come back in to study. And it takes guts, it takes bravery to actually come back in, especially if that first attempt at education maybe wasn't quite as successful as you might have wanted it to be. <laughs> but although our students come from a variety of backgrounds, they share a number of common factors. All of them have risen to that challenge of studying at higher level, which these days requires a large financial outlay, as well as that hard work that's needed to succeed. If you didn't require hard work, it really wouldn't be worth doing. And more than that, all of the students who graduated this week have chosen to study in professional and technical subjects. These require the students not only to understand the theoretical basis, the knowledge basis of their subject, but also how to apply that knowledge practically and the skill needed to make that practical application work in the real world, in the world of work. And that requires three different approaches, three different ways of thinking. All of our students will have mastered that, or at least be well on the way to doing so. Now we've got three graduated scientists today and tomorrow. We recognise achievements of nearly 750 students who have been studying on 45 different pathways and courses, from honours and foundation degrees to higher national awards, and professional qualifications. In the first ceremony this morning, we recognised the highest standards achieved by students in a range of disciplines related to health and individual well-being, professions such as podiatry, social work, education, early years and health promotion. Overall, those courses produce professionals to work in some of the most important areas in our local and regional economy, looking after people, making sure health and well-being is catered for. At the second ceremony this afternoon, we're recognising now the achievements of students working in a range of business related occupations, providing leadership and high level management skills in areas such as business, computing, events management, housing and tourism, all areas which can make a vital contribution to the commercial and public sectors, growing successful businesses which our region needs. To give a few examples from the courses that we're going to graduate this afternoon, the Bachelor of Arts in Management saw the best ever results we've achieved, with over 70% of students achieving a second class degree or better, including 15 students, both full and part time, who obtained first class honours degrees. As usual on this programme, students were present from our European partner colleges and were welcoming every year students from Belgium, Germany, Austria, and Spain who come to spend a year studying alongside their English peers, but also adding to the experience of all the students in the college. As you'd expect on courses such as this, work experience continues to form a key component. If I take this example of the Foundation degree in Tourism, this year's students will be taking placements in local businesses, including Durham Cathedral, Eames Museum, and a range of other related organisations and hotels, as well as continuing to take up the opportunity to work abroad. And I know several students have taken the opportunity and followed periods of work experience in Malta. <coughs> now, I mentioned before the role of employers. Without the support of employers, much of what we celebrate this afternoon wouldn't take place. And employers continue to support our part time students by giving them time off for study, by helping them to pay fees, and giving them support in the workplace. And I know that those students on the foundation of green housing, where all of our successful students have continued to develop their careers with the employee responsible them throughout the course. And when we have our third ceremony tomorrow morning, we're going to celebrate the success of students working to develop the physical infrastructure of that regional economy in disciplines such as construction, civil engineering, information technology related industries, and also in areas which are not quite as, as hard edged as that, but equally but not more important in developing the people of our region and the skills that they have. So finally, for me, just a few words of thanks. I know they're going to be expressed in a much more elegant and better way at the end of the ceremony, but on behalf of the Board of Governors of the College Durham, I'd just like to say a few words of thanks. First of all, to our guest speaker, Bob, who I know is very busy. Uh, what he won't say is he's been holding down two jobs for the last six months at least, so uh, and not everything else he does. So thank you for having the time and the busy schedule to share this celebration. To our teaching and support staff, um, they're always there to do that extra bit, always there to help students with problems and also always there to provide encouragement <coughs> in various forms to make sure that students make the most of their abilities and make sure that they succeed on their chosen course. And it would be wrong of me not to recognise the contribution made by the people at the back of the hall, the families and friends. 
having a dispute between the family can be an expensive and sometimes quite a stressful experience. And I know on occasion most of you will have shared in the issues, the problems, and hopefully the joys of having a dispute in the family. Never really, really didn't expect to have one again. So thank you for the support you've given to our students. The success that we celebrate this afternoon wouldn't have been possible without you. And you've got every right and expectation to share in that success. So thank you for what you've done. But finally, my words are to our graduating students. Thank you for your hard work too. However long you've been with us, one, two, three, sometimes even more years. And thank you for persevering when it all seems too difficult. All of us who study at high level find that from time to time. And thank you for carrying on, for persevering, for seeing through to the end, to making sure the investment, not just of money, but of time and reputation, and being brave enough to step up to the challenge, actually has its reward. As you go out into the world of work and professions, you are the best advertisement for this college. But there's also another goal that I want to undertake, and that's that of an ambassador for higher education, for higher level skills, not just as individuals, but also for our community as a whole, and the businesses and the public sector organisations that are on. Our region still has the lowest rate of participation in higher education in the country, and that's a situation that we need your help to address. So when you go out there into the world of work, remember your experience here, the hard things as well as the good things. Remember what it's going to feel like in a few moments when you receive your degrees and diplomas, and pass that message on. Encourage other people to take that step that you took, with all the fears and all the trepidation that goes with it. Make sure that your success just doesn't sit there on its own, that you share it, and you encourage other people to embark on that same journey. I'm sure you're going to feel that it's been worthwhile, I'm definitely sure you'll feel it this afternoon, but you've risen to that challenge and you've succeeded. So if you speak to family and friends, people at work, encourage them to do the same thing. Now I know we're going to hear about all your future successes over the years to come, but thank you for the contribution you've made to the college and your time here, and we wish you every success for the future. Thank you.
Ewan James Sylvester. Mom. 
Thank <laughs> you. 
Next other job in the civil service. I was a travel assistant, and at that time, I had no idea about a career. I probably didn't even know what a career meant. But then I had a bit of a stroke of luck because the civil service encouraged you to do something out of college, outside of your work. And I was given the opportunity to go on day release at a local college. At a local college, very similar to New College Durham, I signed up for a course at what was then called Ashton Technical College, which is now called North London College. And the course I passed, I successfully passed it, and I got my first qualification. That was my first qualification, and it gave me a real sense of pride and a real sense of confidence about what I could achieve. Um, I then went on and did other courses uh, at, again, colleges. I started off with ONC, I progressed to an HNC, progressed to an HND, and it eventually ended up with a degree in IT. All the time I was looking to improve myself. All the time I was looking to find new knowledge and, and new confidence. And when I look back on over four years of working, that first certificate I got from that college really was a breakthrough for me. It gave me the confidence and it opened up my mind as to what I could achieve and it paved the way for my future career. That's why it is so important that the students here today have picked up their certifications and their qualifications. It gives them confidence and it gives them credibility. And qualified people are what this region needs. We need skilled people with qualifications to grow our economy. Now I'm from the northeast of England, and to me, the northeast of England is the best region in the UK. We've got some of the best countryside, we've got some great towns and cities, we've got great cultural events that, that take place. We've got some fantastic people. We've got people who really want to achieve things. And the other thing we've got is we've got a strong and growing economy. That growing economy can only continue to grow if we have like, people like we have today getting skills, getting qualifications. <coughs> That's why today is so important. I mentioned I'm retiring next year. And as you can look back on your career, and you can look back at those moments in your work and life where things made a difference, but you can also look back at what are the qualities you need to succeed. The qualities I think you need to succeed is you need to keep on working hard. You need to keep on being committed. You need to give everything to the roles or the jobs you get into. Also, keep on progressing and see if you want more qualifications and keep on doing courses. Always try to better yourself. Never let anything stop you from improving. Go out there and be a real success for you in this region. Thanks very much.
studies we have undertaken have been both challenging and rewarding, as we can see here today. And I would like to express our appreciation to our tutors who have always been there with us and support us, especially when times have been hard. For instance, I would like to mention Neil White here, and one of our lecturers who has provided us in the mornings with extraordinary and enlightening insights into the world of Star Wars. <laughs> he made some mornings a lot easier to start with the academic. Anyway, all their dedication to our success is much appreciated. I would like to say a very special thank you to our families. They have supported us as we have progressed through our problems, giving us encouragement and tolerating our entities as the next assignment grew <coughs> closer and closer, and then the next, and then the next, and you know how it ends. <laughs> the good news is that it's all over. The reward, I hope, is to have seen us up here on the stage today as graduating students. One of the unexpected bonuses of study is the friendships we make. I'm sure these friendships will not end here today with the graduation but will also last into the future, providing us with hours of entertainment as we recall the good times when we were undergraduates. Finally, a big thank you to the college organizing today's graduation, enabling us to celebrate our academic achievements with our families, friends, and tutors. On behalf of us all, may I wish the college and all its students every success in the years to come. Thank you very much.